John Griffiths here um, to talk about five different kinds of books you might want to think about. Um, this relates to enterprise and starting a new business. So I've only got five minutes in this format, so I'm going to have to keep motoring on this one. So the, in the first category uh, on the reading list, I would suggest that one needs to look at ideas for starting a business if you're short of them. And these are just two examples, They're not better than any of the others, but they give you an, an idea. And here's another one, 100 Greatest Ideas. Now remember, this is not just about reading books. You may be able to um, simply look for people online because they've done TED Talks or they do blogs or something like that. So in this second category, I would talk about mentors. On the reading list I've got here, we've got Richard Branson, we've got James Dyson. Um, but I would also recommend the Richer Way, Julian Richer uh, of Richer Sounds. Also Ricardo Sembler, um, who wrote the book Maverick, which is about running a very complex business in Brazil with hyperinflation and changes the rules of business upside down. So definitely worth a listen, uh, uh, Ricardo Semler, who you can find online. The third area I would talk about would be um, customer focus. And uh, because I think a business cannot succeed unless you've got an absolutely clear grasp as to what customers are about and what their needs are. So the ones I've got here, this was one recommended to me by a client, which um, was very useful, called Hug Your Customer by a guy called Jack Mitchell. Um, but there are other examples. Anything by Seth Godin is worth a look. Um, because uh, our, and you can find Seth Godin on his blog. So um, I would recommend um, those books by Seth Godin as well. I also like this one by Annie uh, Pettit called The Listen Lady, and this is basically about someone who starts a story as a novel, about someone who starts a bakery and uses Twitter to find out about their customers and turn a failing business into a success. So it's things like that which can often make you think differently about the travails of growing a business. So that's section three, one customer focus. The main section, I guess, would be on growing a business and, and, and the things which happen. I always like coming back to um, uh, Michael G um, Gerber's book called The E-Myth. Um, he's written several um, in this area. As a reminder, if you start a business and you're self-employed, you may not actually have a business. You may just have got yourself a job. So that's also worth a look. Um, because a lot of businesses fall into that category. If the person running the business isn't there, there's no business. But moving on from that, I would look at the Bear Mount Entrepreneur series by Mike Southern, and that's basically looking at the ways in which small businesses can grow and all the obstacles that are in their way, um, but in such a simple way that you could write it on a beer mat or on the back of an envelope. So those are definitely worth a look. I think while we're looking at um, growing a business, it's worth our looking at um, the people I would describe as the growth hackers. This is often um, very much influenced from America. Um, uh, here we've got um, Guy Kawasaki, who used to be the Apple evangelist, How to Drive Your Competition Crazy, and Rules for Revolutionaries if you're starting a small business. So these are very easy reads, and you can find Kawasaki's videos online. One I'm reading at the moment uh, well, they don't put the title on the front anymore, called Be More Pirate. And that is by, and it's written on the back, Sam Allende. So again, this is about piratical thinking, breaking the rules. Uh, and there's various books out about pirates and piracy. And you're taking on the big players. Um, and I think it's also worth um, reminding ourselves that we need to look not just at entrepreneurship, but intrapreneurship. Um, so on the reading list, we've got Pinchot and Pelman's uh, Entrepreneuring in Action, because increasingly large companies are recognizing that they need to be far more innovative. And to do that, they need to be more piratical. They need to have rule breakers inside the organization. So that's certainly something um, that we need to think about. And there are, if you search for entrepreneuring, you'll find all sorts of online resources about that. Section five, I'm nearly there. And I've got less than... Uh, ooh, 45 seconds to do that. And that's basically, you'll need um, a, a, t a title about developing a business plan. So uh, on our reading list, we have the Business Plan Workbook by Barrow, but I would also recommend the books um, which are done by, uh, where is he? Uh, Alex Osterwalder, Business Model Generation, which has a particular template as a way of working, which one can work from consistently. So once you've learned the template, it becomes a really useful way of working. And he's even got one which relates to business model you for developing your business. So there we go. In five minutes, um, this explains the five categories for reading. Good luck with that, and I hope you enjoy the video.